Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today is just going to be a super quick video, unfortunately, um, because I don't know how to pick my shades correctly and I really wanted to do like this whole like wear test over like two different days and like setting and not setting um, the brand new Yves Saint Laurent YSL uh, new bear look tint. Um, on you know a more mature skin i know that there's been quite a few reviews on youtube over the last week that i've seen but none on anyone over the age of 35. um so i just thought that that would be a good resource for some of you um and also sometimes i don't feel like i look that old so you know it's just skin and it's on another complexion and sometimes it's nice to see products on a variety of skin complexions so um i'm going to be trying on the skin tint letting you know about smell texture coverage all of that stuff um, and then I'm also going to be trying out the ABH Cream Bronzer. This is my second go-round with this bronzer. I had originally purchased a different shade um, that just made me look jaundiced. So uh, let's just jump right on into the video, and I will be back probably tomorrow with a much longer video. So this is just a little quick one. I wanted to get it up there, even though I got the wrong color. So let's just jump right on into this. Okay, so we're just going to do a really quick, well, I don't even know if this is the right color, to be honest. I got the shade NU2, and um, I've, from what I've seen, it is best to just apply it with a finger. So we're going to go in and see what it looks like. Now, I do have um, some, like, hormonal breakouts right now, which I know that this is not going to cover because it's, you know, being a skin tint and all. Um, but I'm just gonna just go for it. Just just this nothing else I'm not even gonna use a primer or anything for this application and we can always add concealer later, so I Don't know this looks a pretty light So oop, I forgot to flip my little mirror around. Sorry, you're gonna shake Can am I even still in frame? Let's see There we go. Um I'm just gonna go in Oh yeah, this is really light, but being a skin tint, they are pretty forgiving. We'll just see if I have like, dang it, like I can already see that this is way too light for me. Uh, ooh, it does have a smell. It's not a bad smell. I, I might be like completely off here, but... To me, it kind of smells like detergent, <laughs> like like clean clothes, if that makes sense. I am so bummed that I got the wrong shade. It actually, I mean, look, it's like covering like that dark area, like right by my eye. Like I feel like, let's just do this. Why not? Like, I mean, if this was my right shade, I don't even think that I would need a separate concealer, which is pretty cool. The cat's playing in the Sephora paper, so that's what you hear. Oh, you can totally see him too, so. Um, I am so sad because this feels amazing. It's super hydrating. Hey, can you like not do that for a second? Thanks. Um, I mean, look at that. It covered like the dark part on the inside of my eye. I actually think this has a pretty decent coverage if you use your fingers. Um, I mean, it matches my white ear and it matches my white shoulder. Pretty good, actually. <sighs> you know, I might be able to make this work with some bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the other side of my face and we'll we'll see. I'm using only about this much, which is probably more than enough because it's, I don't know, like my skin's not like overly moisturized at the moment and I feel like I had enough to do that whole side of my face. So it literally does smell like clean clothes to me. So that kind of gives you an idea of the coverage on the <laughs> my period pimples. I don't know what else to call them. 
I'm sure most of us, it's not like we're 13 and embarrassed about it. It's just a part of life, right? I feel like Casper the Friendly Ghost right now. Okay, like looking in the mirror, like, I get, like it is too light. Um, and for the price of it, honestly, I'm going to exchange it and get um, at least a shade or two deeper for sure. I'm usually like fair light neutral, which is, I believe, what I ordered. Um, I can't, I'd have to look it up on Sephora, but this is definitely quite light. I feel like the coverage is good. Um, I think like if I was just wearing this on the go, I definitely wouldn't need a separate con I, I would need a separate concealer for like breakouts and things like that. But like, I feel like it gave decent coverage over my dark circles. Now that it's been on there for a minute, I see them like peeking back through. So definitely would probably want to use some concealer with that. Um, definitely need to get a darker shade, but like it feels really, really nice on the skin. Let's see, like up close. I don't feel like it's accentuating like pores or texture. Let me ring light on or ring light off. I don't know. Oh, now you can see those suckers. Look at that. Yeah, those are cute. Um. Oh, by the way, do my dark spots look like so much better? Sorry, I just had to throw that in. I know I've been talking about using the Ola Hendrickson Utopia, but oh my gosh. Like, it's really helping with my melasma. Okay, well, besides the fact that I am like so, so pale and it's August and that's a little embarrassing. Not really. I love my sunscreen. Um... I love the way this feels. I definitely like the way that it looks on my skin, but it is definitely too light. So we will revisit this once I get my correct shade. <laughs> Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm kind of bummed that this wasn't right. This was a super short video, but I was waiting for this to come and I was super excited about it. Oh, you know, we could try one more thing <laughs> before we go. I did. I had tried the um, Anastasia Cream Bronzer, but I had ordered the lightest shade. And I felt like that it just looked yellow on me. It was really, really, um, it just looked like I had jaundice. So I wanted to, oh my gosh, why are these boxes so hard to open? We might talk about this bronzer today or we might just not. Um, so I was hoping by getting the next shade up, which is the shade Amber, that it would show up better on the skin. So let me, I'm just gonna use this sponge. It's not wet, but we'll just get an idea of how, hopefully this works a little. Oh, see now like this one looks so much darker. Okay, it's not too bad once I get it blended out. We should be okay. It looks so dark with this white ass foundation. So I think that's like part of what's throwing me off. I think if I had my actual shade of foundation on that this color of bronzer would look really nice. It looks a little better now that I have it blended in, but seriously, with the white, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna form, like, the quickest opinion, and I just, we're gonna touch on this in the next video. I'm gonna use this with a foundation that actually matches me, um, but going off just first impressions alone and from the videos I've seen, I think I'm really going to enjoy this as long as I get... A deeper shade I'm thinking probably at least a four um cuz yeah it's super super light so if you are normally like a fair light neutral deaf and you're interested in ordering this I would definitely maybe go up at least like one shade so what does it say on the box it says uh, so on the the box for the new bare look tint it says not quite makeup more than skincare the benefits from both worlds 
and I would have to definitely agree with that. It literally feels like I have nothing on my skin, almost like I put a serum on. Um, I think it did definitely like, it seems like it covers more at first and then your kind of, your skin starts to come through more. Um, but I do think it's beautiful. I do think that I would definitely get use out of it and I would wear it and you could always amp up where you need more coverage with, you know, some added concealer. I just wanted to get something up for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I got a new tripod that films like where I can actually turn the camera this way. Um, so I'm going to be reshooting part of my declutter series and I'm hoping to get at least one of those videos up this weekend for you guys. Um, and then next week, hopefully towards the end of the week, we will be able to work on the 1K celebration video. So thank you guys all again for being here. If you are new, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, I know it was super short and ended up being the wrong color and all that and it was kind of a hot mess, but if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up, it really does help my channel and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.